Hi, everyone. This is Shirley from Shirley's World. Hi, Bumblebee. <laughs> yes, this is my Sunday uh, video about what sold the past week. Uh, I'm a reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My weeks have been pretty poor. This week was a little bit better money-wise. Uh, and I think Poshmark is almost catching up with eBay. Not quite yet, but I sold 14 eBay items and 10 Poshmark items. This is for the whole week. So for quor fourth quarter, this isn't good, but it's uh, picking up a little bit. I'm trying not to add to my inventory, so I don't want to... Uh, list a lot more than I'm selling. So I was listing seven, eight items a day, but I've cut it down somewhat. So that might be why I'm not selling as much, but I can't add any more to my inventory. Uh, I thought all the inventory that I had uh, would last me till Thanksgiving, but I'm almost out. I have a few more things. So what I'm going to do is just redo sell similar and sell some things from around the house and try not to uh, do any new things. If I do go shopping, I will just add slowly to my inventory. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> Lightning bug, hi. Glad you're here. Yes, I'm going to share my screen. I've had a headache all day that just won't go away. I don't know if it's the weather. The weather has changed drastically. We even had some snow yesterday, just in the air. It didn't stick on anything, but uh, yeah. And it's super cold. It's in the 30s. This is after last week being close to 70. So, I don't know. Maybe the barometer changes and everything can cause headaches. So, let me share my screen and show you what I saw. <clears throat> Okay, the first item, this was a long, almost like a robe. It was open in the front. It was called a dress, but it was a long flowing, I mean, this this was so long, it dragged on the floor for me. Uh, it's by a brand called Nasty Girl. It's, it has a belt that ties around, and it was a size small. Uh, sort of semi sheer. This sold for $24.19 and it went to Neptune, New Jersey. This is all plus shipping. That's $24.19 plus uh, $5.85 shipping, so they paid $30.04. But everything is going to be plus shipping. The, the price, I tell you, is just what they bought it at. <clears throat> So the next item is a little zip front vest, uh, sort of cropped right at the waistline. It's fitted by Jenny Mag. Never heard of the brand. It sold for $14.77, which is an offer I sent out to watchers. It went to Savannah, Georgia, plus shipping. <clears throat> Uh, this is a pair of jeans, black jeans by Jones of New York, women's size 6. This was called the Soho Ankle Slim Tapered Jean. <laughs> and this sold for $16.97, plus shipping, went to Orchard Park, New York. 
<clears throat> Next thing is by Ann Taylor. This is another vest, but this is a sweater vest, a pullover. It had a cowl or like a turtleneck um, neckline on it. It was very classy looking little vest. And it sold for $25.24. And it went to Cincinnati, Ohio, plus shipping. <clears throat> Next thing, this was mine. So this really didn't cost me anything because I've had this little vest for years and I would wear it quite often. And then... I think I found another one that I like better, so I put this one up for sale. But it's been for sale for quite a while. And it finally sold. I uh, took an offer of $20. And it went to Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts. And that's $20 plus the shipping. I usually do $5.85 or $6.45 on my first class shippings. Uh, this is a Michael Kors long sleeve shirt, a men's size 15 and a half. This is called French Blue. It was new with tags. Uh, the store retail price was $69.50. Uh, I've had this a while, and I finally uh, sent out an offer for $19.77, and somebody bought it for that, and it went to Dorel, Florida. Plus shipping. This is a pair of career wear dress pants, women's in a 12 long, in a dark gray. This um, sold for $18.69 plus shipping. And it went to New Market, Tennessee. <clears throat> a pair of loft chambray wide leg pants. They had like a paper bag waist, elastic waist, and a belt, a self belt. I'm not sure if one of these that looks similar, I sold before and then it came back that it didn't fit. I'm not sure if this is the one or not. If it was, it's sold twice now. But anyway, this one went to Andrews, North Carolina. It sold for $14.77, which is an offer I sent out, uh, plus shipping. <clears throat> this is an evening gown, a uh, strapless uh, evening gown by Morgan and Company. This was all sequined. It's uh, all lace, had lots of sequins, had a big uh, slit up the, the, I guess that's the left side, would be the left side. And it was really a beautiful dress, but it was a junior size, three, four, junior size. And it finally sold for $25.24. And it went to South El Monte, California. <clears throat> this was quite heavy. It was lined, <clears throat> heavy lace and sequins, and they paid $17.10 in shipping. So they actually paid $44.93 for this dress. <clears throat> uh, this hand-sewn by me, long white apron. I made this apron long time ago when we had an antique store. Uh, once a year in this little town where my antique store was, they would have like... Uh, forget what they call it, it was uh, you dress up, a lot of people dressed up like in uh, clothes that were like from the 17th and 18th, 1800s. I made my own dress. It was a long prairie dress. I still have it. I should get it out of the trunk to show you. A long prairie dress and then this apron went over the top of it. I even made a hat. A prairie hat to go with it 
and I made my husband, uh, he wore like pants with big suspenders and then this uh, handmade shirt with bigger sleeves. And he wore like an Australian hat. That's what he wore. I do have old movies of this, but they're on iMemories and I don't know if I can show them. Get this switched over. If I can, if I can show that, Someday I will. But anyway, that was back when I was younger. Uh, this apron went to Lake Wales, Florida. <clears throat> this is a little jersey top, striped top uh, by Forever 21. It was sold for $12 and seven. No, that was the apron. Sorry. Um, this jersey top went for $20.42, and it went to Webster, Texas, plus shipping. I've had this. You can tell by the background. I've had this for quite a while. Uh, next thing, looky here, bubble bee. These cute little L.L. Bean moccasin little boots. These turned up out to be a women's size six. Fleece lined, they, I don't think they've ever been worn. And somebody bought them for $38.22. They were on sale, 15% off sale. Uh, they paid shipping. So in all, they paid $52.35 to get them to Berlin, Connecticut. I was so happy when I saw that sale. <clears throat> Next thing is a just a uh, knit top by Catherine Suprema. Uh, it's in the Suprema collection of Catherine's. It's a plus size 3X in this turquoise color. It sold for $20 plus shipping. And it went to Lenore's, Lenore City, Tennessee. This is a short uh, like a capri pair of pants by 89th and Madison. Uh, they are pull on, they had a less elastic waist, and they sold for $17.76. And they went to Elizabeth, Illinois. Okay, that's all my uh, eBay items that I sold. So these are now my Poshmark items. This is a pair of Forever 21. These are men's gray sweatpants with black trim and a pull tie at the waist. They're just pull on like jogger sweatpants. Uh, sold for $12. Went to Columbia, Missouri. And I made $9.05 after fees. Next thing is American Eagle Super Stretch Skinny Khaki Pants, a women's size 4, 4 short. They were the size, were, and it sold for $20. Went to Chattanooga, Tennessee, and from 20 I made 16 with 20% taken out by Poshmark. Here's another thing. Another pair of shoes here, uh, Bumblebee. These little sneakers by Play, child size 13 and a half, gray and red, hook and loop closing, and these sold for $21. I think I, I probably could have gotten a little more for these, but uh, I don't know. When I looked up the going rate, it was anywhere from uh, $20, $25 is what I was seeing. I know uh, Ginger Marvin sometimes gets higher prices for these shoes. But anyway, there was also a shipping discount on these, so I only made $15.08. They went to Wilmot, uh, New Hampshire. <clears throat> Here's a, a little mini skirt, a pull-on mini skirt that had elastic waistband. It was linen or linen blend, size 14. 
really cute. It's red and had a scalloped uh, ham on it. Sold for $15. Went to Minneapolis, Minnesota. And I made $12 on that. Next thing is a pair of Levi's 505 straight leg jeans. These are women's in a 16 uh, medium. Had an embroidery on the pockets, I think. Yeah, just some embroidered. This this was all embroidered on the pockets. Um, yeah, it sold for twenty four dollars, and I made nineteen dollars and twenty cents. Went to Hudsonville, Michigan. The next thing is a top by Express, a women's medium stretchy top it's like a crossover wrap top uh sold for 16 dollars went to south pasadena california and i made 12 dollars and 80 cents next thing is a pair of lauren conrad jeans women's size 10 in this hunter green color uh they did have some stretch to them it went to West Sussfield, Connecticut for $24, and I made $19.20. Uh, this is a sweater, really soft sweater, by Philosophy. Uh, had a high cowl-type neck on it, and uh, this is one of those really, I had two Sort of the same color. One was bigger. This is a small one. Uh, really soft yarn. Sold for $17. And I made $13.60. And this went to Cincinnati, Ohio. This is by 41 Hawthorne. It's a grace uh, with different stripes on it. In a size large. This is a women's sweater. Sold for $20, and I made $16 in this. It went to Fallon, Nevada. I think I've had this for quite a while, this sweater, because it's not on that gray background. <laughs> uh, I know I've had these a while. These are a pair of rock ports, men's. These were, like, brand new. They, I don't think they've ever been worn. Uh, they took a long time to sell, but the reason being they're a men's size 7. So really small for men's shoes. Uh, maybe my grandson could have even worn these. You know, a young boy could probably wear these also. They sold for $23. Uh, $23. And there was a shipping discount. And so I made $16.68. So those are my uh, Poshmark sales. Uh, this morning I made two more Poshmark sales, but they'll be included next week. So my overall, here's my graph. I had a zero day here on Wednesday, but then I had a couple hundred dollar days and one almost a hundred dollar day. So it's funny how that works. I have no idea why. Uh, so my numbers, this is just for eBay now, total sales for $139.80 and the net sales were $288.50. So that's up from last week, of course, because last week was really bad. Uh, quantity I sold was, it shows 15. These numbers are a little bit off because if you remember, Last week I included I included a Sunday sale, which took which I think uh, took off from what I was telling you here one, but they're counting it in again on this one. So these aren't exact numbers, almost, but not quite. <clears throat> Average selling price twenty nine dollars and thirty two cents, which is pretty good. 
So I did not do, let me come back here. I did not do, um, how do I get back here? Let's stop sharing. <clears throat> uh, I didn't do my Poshmark. I forgot completely about doing my Poshmark numbers. But, uh, yeah, I didn't add them up. But it's pretty good. You know, I did pretty good on Poshmark. Now let me see what people are saying here. Yeah, I can't get rid of this headache today. I've taken something. Maybe Sudafed. Sudafed makes my blood pressure go up too much. I never take Sudafed. I took some aspirin with caffeine in it. But it didn't really help much at all. I may take some uh, ibuprofen later. Uh, when you're feeling better, it would be interesting to compare your sales with previous years, promotions, shipping sales, etc. Seems like I need to bring your shoes more. <laughs> yeah, you're doing really good on your shoe pick. I don't see those shoes up here, the ones that you showed. Well, yeah, I've never seen that play brand here. And those L.L. Bean, I see L.L. Bean clothes, but I've never seen the shoes, anything like that. Uh, oh, the Catherine's top was from you? Okay. Mm. Great profit for kids' shoes. Okay. Oh, the Rockports were from you. Yeah, they were great shoes. I mean, they were in gorgeous condition. I'm sure they've never, they were never worn. I'm sure, I bet they'll be very pleased when they get these shoes. Ah. Uh. My daughter is going to try out, well, she's done it a couple days now just for, just to try to learn it. She's going to try to do that DoorDash where you deliver food. Uh, she went out with her girlfriend uh, the first day just to get started and uh, just did a couple hours and I think yesterday she went out by herself for a couple hours, but got stuck in an apartment building uh, where she, it had an old rickety elevator. She doesn't like elevators, number one. So she, she walked up four flights of stairs to deliver. It's lucky it wasn't 10 flights of stairs. <clears throat> but anyway, she sort of likes it. Hopefully... You can do really well on that uh, DoorDash and and those different ones, but you have to put in the hours and you have to be really dedicated, I think, to do it. But you can do. People make full time livings doing this. I think it. I've been watching a lot of videos about it. If I was younger, and I would try it because well, it would be difficult out here because I'm in a more rural area. If I go to town, I would get, there's a whole lot of restaurants there, but then where you're gonna deliver, it may be too long of a distance. But she lives in the perfect place uh, to do it. So we'll see how it goes. Also, I got a call from my uh, girlfriend from the barn and she got she she's been looking for a dog, you know, at the shelters and the, whatever. But she brought she went to a shelter and instead of bringing home a dog, she brought home a 19 pound cat. So she wanted me to come over this morning. I went over this morning and saw met her cat. It's a huge cat. Uh, it's part. What is it part? Uh, those really Maine Coon. It's part Maine Coon. It doesn't have the big whisker things and everything, but it's a little bit 
a longer hair than a tabby. I'm sure it's part tabby and part Maine Coon. But it's such a nice cat. It just is very loving and wants to sit on your lap. And it's, uh, yeah, but weighs a ton. <laughs> so it'll give her a lot of company. Uh, yeah. Oh, you've never seen the play shoes before either? Oh, you found them in T Cincinnati on your way uh, when you went to see your sons. Yeah, it's funny how in different areas you find different things. I never go anywhere anymore, so. <clears throat> but I should uh, look someplace other than uh, Goodwill. I can also go to a Volunteers of America very easily. It's right by the Goodwill and try to look there and see if they have anything really different. I used to go there quite a lot. Their things are so jammed together, it's hard to look at anything. That's why I sort of uh, stopped going there. It's, uh, it's hard, hard to sort through the clothes. Uh, they did have a lot of shoes, but their shoes were very a lot more expensive than in Goodwill. But they did have, once a month, they had a half-price sale. Of course, it was jammed that day. But Yeah, I'll have to try that uh, one of these days. So that is what I did this past week. Uh, I'll, my dog is back on prednisone because he wouldn't start stop licking his leg. He, he opened up a big sore on her, her leg. So in order to stop that, uh, she put him back on prednisone for another week and uh, another antibiotic. So it's healing up. So I can keep her from licking it. I put a bandage on it one day. Uh, I just put a little bandage on it with some Neosporin and a, some vet wrap to keep it on. And at first she held up her leg. She wouldn't even step on it. <laughs> but then she didn't pay any attention to it. But uh, when I went to take it off, I could see where she had been chewing on the bandage, trying to get it off. Yeah, she didn't like that. But it's looking better, so hopefully uh, we're already weaning her off the prednisone. So it should be hopefully okay. She is the most nervous dog I've ever had. Uh Different times, for different reasons, she just trembles. And her teeth chatter. You can hear her teeth chattering. And it's for different reasons. Sometimes I think she's cold. And other times it's that just she's nervous about something. I don't know. Yeah, but she, she is very a very nervous dog. So I'm going to close for now. <clears throat> for everybody that is like me, that's a Yellowstone uh, fan, tonight at 8 o'clock is the premiere of the uh, next season of this season. I forget what season it is. The ninth season, maybe? I'm not sure. But tonight is the night been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. So, yes, 8 o'clock on Paramount Channel. It's two hours long tonight. So, yeah. But I know a bunch of people are big fans. It's a, it's a really good series. But if you haven't watched any, you should go back. They've been showing it for the last two weeks. 
like you can binge watch it. So I've been watching it today, just the last few, just to get caught, you know, just to remind myself of what was happening at the end. So I'm going to close for now, and I will uh, see you hopefully in the middle of the week doing something or other. And have a good day, everybody. Stay warm. It's going to get cold. Darn. <laughs> and uh, see you again in the next video. Bye.